Hey, how we doing, Paul? How we doing? How we doing? All right. Just chilling over here in Tiny Tim. We finally got some furniture in here, so I'm just chilling over here. Showing y'all some, showing y'all a cool cabin. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Beautiful structure here. Try to give you all a different angle. Built by the Amish, we ship them nationwide. This is the one we call Tiny Tim. Remember guys, we got a bunch of different sizes too. Can the wood be painted? Absolutely. A lot of people paint the wood on these, y'all. A lot of people, some people love it. I would imagine, I say probably 50-50. 50% 50 of the people who buy these leave it as is. They just love the wood the way that it is. And then the other 50%, they paint it and they make it more their own, you know, they, they, they make the aesthetic more of what they're wanting, you know, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is just a studio style cabin. This is the one we call Tiny Tim. So the only enclosed room here is where the bathroom's going to go. And then the rest is just like an open concept. Hey, Mr. Cowboy, how, how am I? I'm doing good, Mr. Noob. I'm doing great. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Wish I could take the credit, but I can't. These are built by the Amish guys, and uh, I'm their partner. You guys have nicknamed me the Cabin Cowboy because I'm always walking about these cabins and bragging on them. But uh, they are built by the Amish, so I cannot take the credit for it. Um, I'd say 50% of our structures here are built by the Amish. 40% are built by the Mennonites, and then we have 10% that are just... you partners of mine here uh, around the United States. I just like their products and I promote them. So um, the cabin I'm in right now is called the Tiny Tim. This one is 35,000, it's a 14 by 28. It does have a six foot by 14 foot front porch. And uh, we ship it all over the country, guys. And remember, if this one is too big or too expensive, we have smaller sizes for you. We can go a lot bigger, like Big Bertha. We have something for everybody. We have increased our size offerings. So we now have all different sizes. Um, yeah, so a two bed, one bath would be the one we call El Chapo, or you can get that one as Big Bertha. But let's say you went with a one story, two bed, one bath, that'll run you 89,000 for the two bed, one bath cabin. It would make a killer playhouse for the kids. It really would. Um, a lot of people are buying these two for like mother-in-law suites. Um, a lot of people use them for offices, um, you know, Maker studios. I had a gentleman that was in a band and he bought it, you know, so he doesn't drive his wife crazy. They put this in their backyard. So their band, they just kind of got one wide open. Um, and that way they can enjoy their, their sounds without driving their wife nuts. Right. So uh, we do have a two bed, two bath. That'll run you about 125,000 for the two bed, two bath. If you wanted a cabin style two bed, two bath. Now, if you just want a um, turnkey modern cottage, we have a two bed, two bath for 130. Those come with electric plumbing, heating, cooling, tubs, toilet, sinks, and everything. So the cabin I'm in right now is what we call a rustic cabin. So these are built by the old order, order, old order Amish and they don't come with electric, but we offer an electric package that we can put into it. The one, this cabin is 35,000 as is. 45,000 if you want the electric package put into it, okay? Hit the like, hit the share, hit the follow if you like what you see. Uh, the website is in the bio. It is AmishBuiltCabins.com. The website is in the bio. And that is correct. The wood is Southern Yellow Pine, treated Southern Yellow Pine. We also have modern cottages like this one here. So this is a modern style cottage. This one's gonna come with everything, electric plumbing, heating, cooling, tub, toilet, sinks, and all. And uh, one bed, one bath, this one's gonna be 79,000, fully loaded. So this is being worked on right now. It's gonna be 79,000 fully loaded. So electric plumbing, heating, cooling, tub, toilets, and sinks. Fully loaded. Um, no, I'm out of Indiana, but we ship them all over. This one's under construction right now. They're setting it up. So, um, two bed, one bath. 
Uh, we don't have a two bed, two bath on the lot, but we do have a two bed, one bath on the lot. And yes, we deliver to the lower 48 states. We go everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. We go everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. Everywhere but Alaska and Hawaii. All right. Wow, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Well, you guys were also asking about yurts. So we also do have a uh, yurt now on the lot. This is a yurt cabin kit. We share it. We actually uh, ship this one nationwide to all 50 states. It's 25 feet in diameter. Do you deliver to Canada? Yes, we do. I showed the big cabin. I will show that a little bit later. How much to ship to California? It depends on which model. But this is the one we call the UFO. It is a yurt. Yurt cabin, guys. 25 feet in diameter. This is the biggest one we sell, but we have three smaller sizes. The biggest one we sell, this one here, is 45,000. It's just shy of 500 square feet. The price of Tiny Tim, that's the little cabin there, that's 35,000. And uh, yeah, let's go inside the yurt real quick and show you what we got. You got a plexiglass top up there. That's watertight and airtight. I know it looks like it's open, but it is not. Hit the like, hit the share, hit the follow, guys, if you like what you see. Those of you guys into fitness, this would make a great yoga studio. Just a super cool structure, guys. That is Douglas fir logs. You see those are Douglas fir beams. This one is just shy of 500 square feet for 45,000. We ship it nationwide. We ship it nationwide. Okay, this one is, uh, we, we have them cheaper and smaller, but this is uh, the largest one that we make. Big old windows, look at them windows. 47 inch by 47 inch. Big old sky window, made of plexiglass. Hey, how you doing, Amy Lulu? Welcome back to the show. Amy Lulu in the house, y'all. That's right, cabin cowboy, baby. Brrr. Look at that, look at them big windows. You can see my truck. We got some more gravel poured over there for expansion. Uh, we do not, guys, this is a kit. So you purchase this kit and then you finish it off the way you want to. The kit comes to you just the way you see it. You can add partition walls and make multiple bedrooms. You can do your mini splits, HVAC, all that. We just sell you the kit and a couple of guys can put it together in a couple of days. This is a yurt cabin kit, y'all. Uh, yurt, this is a yurt cabin kit. Great for wedding venues, yoga studios, pool house. Mr. Potato Head in the, in the chat. How you doing, Mr. Potato Head? <laughs> My son loves Mr. Potato Head. Price starts at lower 30s up to 45,000 for the largest one we make which is this one right here. How you doing Mr. Potato Head? This is the Cabin Cowboy. Good to meet you. Good to meet you Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> hey yeah, he loves me. I do. I like Mr. Potato Head. Do you deliver to Louisiana? Yes we do. Yes we do. <laughs> My son loves Mr. Potato Head, so I love Mr. Potato Head. You know how that goes. Happy son, happy life. Happy wife, happy life. My son loves Mr. Potato Head. I love Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Woo! This is a yurt. That is correct. This is called a yurt cabin. It comes as a kit. We ship it nationwide. We ship it nationwide. It comes as a kit. A couple of guys can put it together in a couple of days. Let me show you the outside and we'll keep it moving. Y'all tap that screen if you like what you see. It don't cost you nothing to tap that screen and hit that like button. Do it for the old cabin cowboy now. It don't cost you nothing to tippity tippity tap that screen for the old cabin cowboy, baby. All right, look at that. What does yurt stand for? I'm actually not sure what a yurt stands for. 
but I do know that this design was inspired by the famous um, yurts that were initially designed by the Native Americans back in the day called Hogan's. I've, I have been educated here by my followers. So initially these were designed by the Native Americans. We got to give credit to where credit is due. And then this is the modernized version of the Hogan yurt that was initially designed by the Native Americans. So ingenious design credit goes to them for it and this is the modern day version of the Hogan guys now me I've called it the UFO because it looks like one <laughs> the UFO baby looks like it's about to go to outer space the UFO baby the UFO don't that thing look like it's about to be flying up there in outer space? Look at that thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. We ship them nationwide, guys. People buying these things. Just so you know, too, guys, if you're looking to monetize your land, you all might or might not notice, but yurt cabins like this have the highest rental and occupancy rate on Airbnb. So those of you guys that do Airbnb and VRBO rentals, yurts have some of the highest occupancy rate because people love to stay in unique structures with their families and what's more unique than staying in a yurt so if you go to airbnb and type in yurts you'll notice that there's a lot of people out there um, doing yurt cabin rentals and that's for a reason guys because they are very lucrative you can put them up very quickly like i said it just took the boys two days to put this one up and just like that you finish it off and you got a, a structure generating a lot of income for you uh, some of these things are rent for two, three hundred dollars a night, depending on which part of the country you're located at. And uh, folks, they put this thing up in two days. So um, keep that in mind. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, this is forty-five thousand for the biggest one that we make. Forty-five thousand for the biggest one we make, and then uh, from there it goes cheaper and smaller from there. Okay. That's right, Mr. Potato Head. Two days. That's right, Mr. Potato Head. All right, let's keep it moving here. Somebody wanted to see the two-bedroom real fast, so I'm going to take them and show them the two-bed, one-bath that's being set up right now. This one is a two-bed, one-bath structure. This is going to come fully finished with electric, plumbing, heating, cooling, tub, toilet, and sink. Um, this one's going to, the, your, your kitchenette's going to be over there. You'll see here for your uh, washer and dryer connection. Double sink, refrigerator, stove, dishwasher. Um, go down the hallway. Full bathroom, tub, toilet, and sink included. Bedroom number one over here. And master bedroom over here. So $90,000. Where's the basement? The basement's Mr. Potato Head. You got to do the basement on your end now. We can't bring you a basement. <laughs> we can't bring you a basement, Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head, we don't bring the basement. You, that's a hole in the ground in your land. I can't bring you a basement, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Come on now. Where's the basement? Oh no, Mr. Potato Head. How you doing, Tebow? Welcome back to the show. My buddy, my new buddy, Mr. Potato Head said, where's the basement? My goodness, he wants me to bring the hole in the ground to you. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, man, you know I like you, man. Don't make me get sour with you. I know you didn't ask me where the basement's at, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head, my new favorite buddy, wants me to bring the basement to him too. My goodness. Mr. Potato Head, that's a hole in the ground. I can't bring you a basement. I'm a little bit sour with you, buddy. <laughs> you asked me to bring you a basement. My goodness. I can't bring you a hole in the ground now. I still love you, Mr. Potato Head. You're still my buddy. I still love you. You must not be in the construction business. You're asking me to bring you a basement. It's okay. I forgive you. 
I forgive Mr. With the, you're Mr. Potato Head, man. I can't hate you. I got nothing but love for Mr. Potato Head. All right. So with that said, I got to make a move, guys. I got to make a move here. But remember to hit the like, hit the share, hit the follow if y'all like what you see. Give me a call if you see something you're interested in. Come back and see me now. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and follow. I got my horse waiting on me here. And I got to head on out. I got my horse waiting on me here. So I got to head on out. But with that said, remember y'all, I love you. God loves you. I love God. Peace be with you and you and your families. Come back and see me now. It's your favorite cowboy. Cabin cowboy, baby. Y'all have a blessed day. I love y'all. Come back and see me now, y'all. Cabin cowboy out. Brrr. And come back and see me soon, Mr. Potato Head. I like you on the show. You're funny to me, man. You asked me about bringing a basement to you. I like that. That keeps me on my feet. Come back and see me now, Mr. Potato Head. Everybody go follow Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> my new buddy. <laughs> Y'all take it easy.